Welcome to CountArts. In this lesson, I'll be showing how to calculate the net present value or the NPV and the internal rate of return or the IRR using the financial calculator. This is the BA2 plus or the Texas instrument. In our previous lessons, we showed how to calculate the NPV using the tables, using Excel, and as well as using the other financial calculator. So you'll find those links in the description below. But let's get ahead with this one. We are given an example here. We are told that the cost of the asset is 420,000 Rand. We are given cash flows from year one to year five. And we are told that the cost of capital is 12%. So what we have to do here is to calculate the net present value and the IRR for the project. So how do we do it with the BA2 plus? The first thing that we do with any financial calculator is to make sure that your memory is cleared. So let's do that. So we click on cash flows with this one. And then you can see I've already done a calculation here. So I have to clear that one. So you click on cash flows and then you click second function. And then you click here where it's written CE slash C. Uh, and you can see on top it's written clear work. So you press that one. And there my memory is cleared. Now I can do the calculations. So once the memory is cleared, obviously we are still at cash flows. And we can see it's, it's cash flow at year zero. And we can see here we are told that the cost of the asset is 420,000 Rand. So if I'm to invest in this in this project, I will have to pay 420,000 Rand to, to purchase the asset. So it's going to be a negative 420,000 Rand. So that's the first thing we do, 420,000. Make sure you put it as a negative. You press this plus slash minus sign. You don't press this minus here. You press a plus minus sign. If I press it again, it's going to be positive. But you press this one here to ensure that it's a negative. And then you press enter. And then once you've done that, we go on to our first cash flow. So we move on. We press the down arrow. So you press the down arrow. Now we are at cash flow at year one or period one. It's 120,000 Rand. So we press the 100. Sorry. 120,000 and then we press enter and then we press the down arrow again and you can see after we press the down arrow it's going to show us the frequency of cash flow so it's asking us how frequent is this cash flow occurring in a row in other words do we have the same cash flow in year two and so forth so if 120,000 rand occurred in year two again we'd press the frequency of cash flow is two or if it occurred for all the five years we'd press frequency of cash flow cash flows five years and then would be done so it's just to simplify your work but we don't have 120,000 rand in year two so it doesn't occur in a row so we press the down button again to go to cash flow at period two it's 200,000 rand so we press the enter and then cash flow at year three so we press down arrow Frequency of cash flow, well, 200,000 doesn't okay in year three. So we skip, we go to cash flow at year three. It's 100,000 Rand. So we put 100,000. Then we press enter. Then we press down arrow. And down arrow again to go to cash flow at year four. It's 80,000 Rand. 8,000 Rand. And then we press enter. And then we press the down arrow. Now, frequency of cash flow. If you can see here, after year four, the cash flow for year five is exactly the same. So the 80,000 Rand occurs twice in a row. So we press two and then we press enter. So now we don't have to go to cash flow at year five and put the 80,000 Rand again. So that is the main function of the frequency of cash flows uh, to, to just simplify your work and for you not to be punching the same amount every time. So if cash flows occur in a row, you find out how many they are. And then frequency of cash flow, you put all you put the amount and you press enter and you left put in the cash flows for all those years that occur in a row. And that is what that function is for. Now that we have all our cash flows uh, input here, the next thing that we need to do is to compute that NPV. So you press NPV. Now you can see here it's asking us what the interest rate is. And we're told that the cost of capital is 12%. So we're going to put the 12%. And then enter. And then we press the down arrow and you can see that it's written NPV. So we have to compute but for NPV. So we press here compute where it's written CPT. So if you press compute, it's going to compute the NPV for you. And you can see that the NPV is 13,995 Rand and it's a positive. So that means we should invest in the project because the NPV is is positive now how do you do how do you calculate the irr well it's very simple with this calculator you can see here where it's written irr you press irr and then you press compute again the top button compute 
and you can see that it's computing and it has computed the IRR. It's 13.51% and that is what the IRR is. So you can see how simple it is using this calculator to calculate the net present value and the internal rate of return. Now, if you don't know what the significance of the IRR is and what it means for this particular project, we have a lesson specifically on that, thoroughly explaining what the IRR is and what it means. So you can click on the link on the top right of the screen. You'll also find the links in the description below. Otherwise, if you've gained value from this lesson, if you've learned something new, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you may think it may help. Till next time, cheers.